what's up queens and kings welcome or welcome back to the channel here at queen budgets we are tackling all financial areas from budgeting by paycheck cash envelopes savings challenges sinking funds debt payoff while currently on a low income and a single mom of three so if that sounds like something that will interest you i invite you to hit the subscribe button below join the shmoney team as you can tell from the title of the video I am going to show you guys the 50 envelope challenge that I am trying to begin for myself. I am in fact on a low income. I know for a fact the 100 envelope challenge is just going to be too much for me to try to hold up to. I am also making my envelopes myself so I can make it very cost friendly. I've already pre-cut uh, 32 of them. Of course, mine will be colorful. Um, so what I did was I just took a piece of paper, I folded a dollar over and made sure that it fit comfortably down inside of them. And then I took and labeled them from one to, well, it's going to be one to 50. I've only done 32. So, and then what I decided to do was I do have a laminator and I was going to laminate them and I felt like that was a whole bunch of work, number one. And number two, I was figuring that it would be more cost friendly to just use the cardstock. So this isn't just regular construction paper. This is cardstock. So it does have a kind of a thickness to it. So I'm just going to show you guys really quickly how I make these before I start the story time of my other videos. I asked you guys, did you want a story time of how I incurred 200, over $200 worth of tolls? So I will be telling you guys that story time while I am showing you how I um, put these together. So first, what I do is I take my paper cutter, which has um, a ruler on it. Where is it at? It's a ruler on this thing somewhere. Okay, here it is, here it is. So I take the ruler and um, I measured, now I'm not really good at um, like knowing with all what all of these metrics mean, but I do remember I made my line right here, three where this nine is. I don't know what exactly the dimensions is. So what I do is I just mark off. It's like, it's it's a little bit more than three inches, but it's not quite four. And it's right where this nine, nine centimeter line is. But I know that I'm, I'm gonna leave it in the comments y'all, okay? I'm not trying to go back to school right now. I just know that this is as wide as a dollar bill is with a little bit on each side, a little bit of give on each side so that the dollar can actually comfortably fit down in there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but at the top I marked, I got a piece of tape stuck to my nail. Um, I marked where I wanna cut. And so then I'm just going to um, cut and it, it is two sheets of paper together because my paper cutter, my paper cutter can cut um, two pieces of this card stock comfortably at one time. So then what I do is I take, make sure it's even so I'm not cutting a slanted line and I just cut and I go down it and I come back up just to make sure the cut um, actually, you know, cleared. So I'll cut that and then always make sure your paper is straight so that all of the pieces can be even. And you can also do this with a pair of scissors. Me, myself, I don't cut straight at all. So um, using the scissors was not an option for me. Okay. And this is very simple. You can do this yourself. And I mean, I, I believe you can even use construction paper. If you don't have cardstock and you have construction paper, you probably can even use regular paper, but the cardstock does make it uh, more sturdy or whatever. So then I take each sheet and I fold it over in half and I try to make sure that it is like even at the top. And then I just create a crease like this at the bottom. And I do that for all the pieces. Thank you. 
Okay. So then the next step is these are slightly a little bit too long. So what I do is I take one that's a different color just so I can mark it and I can be able to see where the line actually is. And I just, I don't know if you can see this. Let me move this up a bit. I just make sure it's even. And then I put a little, a little line right there. Set that to the side. Do the same thing with all of them. We gonna roll with it, y'all. So for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to do these red ones right now. And then I'm going to start the story time. So let me wait to start the story time while I'm cutting this because I have to be very precise to make sure decided to just take some scotch tape and just tape the side oh, for like the one dollar you would take one dollar and you would just put it down in there and put it inside your little container or whatever and then you know you do the same for two dollars and everything like that so i'm really excited to start this challenge okay so i know y'all want me to get to the story i'm just going to show you how i tape it just so I can explain it in case anyone wants to do this for themselves. What I do then is I measure about how long the card is. I rip off the tape. So then what I do is I put the tape and I look at it and I measure. I make sure it's enough tape to fit like on this side and also fold over to the other side. And I just um, flatten that down like that. It's going to be stuck, but I peel it up and then I fold the tape just over like this and try to keep it as flat and as smooth as possible, right? And see, this is where the scissors come in. And I have a little bit of tape on that and be careful not to cut the bottom of the, um, be careful not to cut the bottom of your envelope. And you do the same thing for the other side. And y'all, this is very inexpensive to create for yourself. And it's also a fun way to challenge yourself. Now, one thing I do want to say about the way I'm doing the challenge, I know with the budgeting, you have to do what works for you. So say you get to a number, say you get to 40 and you don't have 40 that week, you only have 20 to put in there. Put that 20 in there, and then the next week, put the ne the other 20 in there to make it add up to 40. Don't give up. Don't give up just because you don't have the amount. Do what you can and push forward. Okay, so let's get started with this story time while I just make a few of these while I'm talking with you guys. So, um, I don't even know where to start. Okay, so I... um. I was out of a relationship with my um, my child, my last child's father. We hadn't been in a relationship, I don't think, for like maybe two, three years. Now, I usually don't date and I usually don't, um, you know, go out because um, I've had some really like crazy relationships. So I had started this thing where I was just, um, you know, sticking to myself and not dating and everything like that. And that got really, really dry. Okay. That got really, really, cause I live, I live in a, um, you know, I live in a, um, townhouse. It's just me and my kids. And, you know, I don't have many friends, like many female friends. I've had, you know, crazy things happen with relationships with friends. So I really don't have a lot of company. You know, my, my family don't come around really like that and visit me. So I was just going through this period where I was just like, 
so like bored and just like, you know, lonely, like, and so I was just like, okay, um, let me try out this dating app. So I, um, I, uh, downloaded the dating app. I, um, you know, created an account and everything. And of course, as soon as I get on a dating app, you know, cause I'm popping my, <laughs> my so my profile is going crazy right so um you know i'm reading through i'm you know reading you know these males they like their interests and you know everything like that so i get a message a couple of days later from this uh guy but we're gonna call him marcus so, um, Marcus sends me a message and right away, I'm not, you know, um, when I first, um, we first start conversing and stuff like that. So like, we're just, you know, texting back and forth on the app and this and this and that, you know, and we really, um, connected because he was telling me how he was a twin and I was like, oh, really? Because I'm a twin, you know what I'm saying? So like we get the vibing and we're talking and everything like that. And y'all, I am really liking this young man. Like. He was so fine. When I say he was fine as wine, okay. He was so fine and he um he was like, you know, slim muscular build. He was like light skinned, you know, um, you know, a, a, a few years younger than me or whatever. So, um one day I'm uh I think I dropped my kids off. I don't know where my kids weren't with me. I was by myself. I think they may have been at my mom's or I, I don't know where my kids were, but they weren't with me, y'all. And this is, do y'all remember when the cicadas was out? Oh my goodness. This is when the cicadas was out. So, um, I had been without a car. Like I had literally been impoverished. Like I did not have a car. My last car had broke down on me. And um, I had paid $420 to get it fixed and then turned right back around. And one month later, and it broke down again. The transmission went up in it. So I was literally without a car for like that whole winter. So this is springtime. So so I don't got through the winter. I done upgraded y'all. I done got me a little Chevy Impala. Um, you know, feeling real good about myself and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, you know, just, just living. So, um... I go to vacuum out my car because y'all, I think I'm cute or whatever. It's like warming up. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm out, I got my little cute outfit on. Oh, yeah. I remember exactly what I had on, y'all. I had on these Victoria's Secret pink little sweatshorts. And I had on my Ugg slippers, my little fur Ugg slippers. And I had on this um, really colorful, um, kind of like, it was like a crop top, but it was like a long sleeve crop. But it was like, um, kind of like this pastel tie dye color. It was so pretty. Like, I just thought I was so cute. And um, I think I had braids. I don't remember what I had in my head, but I, I was looking cute or whatever, y'all. So here I go to the, um, to the pump because I'm like, I want to vacuum my car out today because my kids be leaving crumbs and stuff in there. So, y'all, I go over to the pump looking cute. I think I had my sunglasses on or whatever, just like vibing or whatever, right? I get over to the pump. I'm not even paying attention, y'all. Whole time, I turn, I, um, turn to put the quarters in. It's nothing but cicadas all over the pump. I scream, runs back into my car, y'all. I'm having a whole panic attack because, number one, I'm very afraid of bugs, period. But it was just something about the cicadas, y'all. They were so ugly. Oh, my God. They were so ugly. So, I jumped back in the car. I'm halfway hydroventilating or whatever. I think he just, like, called me at the right time. Like, literally. And I was like, oh, my God. I'm in a crisis. I want to really want to vacuum my car out. But I was literally traumatized, y'all. I was shaking and everything. So, um, keep in mind, he lives far away from me. So, he was like, I'm off today. And he was like, um, don't. He was like, everything will be okay. He was like, calm down, calm down. Um, I'm, he said, um, just come to me. Come to me. I'm going to vacuum your car out. Don't even worry about it. So, I was like, oh. Y'all, because keep in mind, I told y'all, I thought he was cute. We had never met. We had never physically met. We had only been talking. And this is like a couple of weeks at this time or whatever. So, 
like we never met i was like so nervous i remember my heart beating like so fast because i was so excited and i didn't have my kids or whatever so i was like okay i'm about to push up there now keep in mind he lives i'm not gonna say where he lives at i could say where he lives at he lives in baltimore so and where i live at i live in maryland so um it's like a distance. It's like almost an hour, like 45 minutes, maybe an hour, depending on traffic. It, 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 traffic with traffic, it could definitely be an hour or longer. But if it's a flow of traffic, it's, it's like 45 minutes. So keep in mind, I don't really travel to Baltimore. I do have a twin sister. My twin sister lives in Baltimore, but I don't really travel to go see her very often. So um, I'm not really familiar with like the Baltimore streets and everything like that. So I'm just, first of all, y'all, I'm geeked up because I'm happy because he, first of all, he want to vacuum my car. Okay. So I was like, um, you know, really geeky and really excited. I just put, put his address in my GPS and I was on my way. So, um, I was on my way. So we had um so I'm, I'm you know i'm driving to baltimore i'm like you know and you know listen to my music singing at the um the wind is blowing in my head i'm thinking i'm cute i'm a little sunglasses on i'm like yeah 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 so we get there i pull up y'all first time i meet him he is so sweet he is so handsome okay he had on, and y'all know, ladies, come on now, y'all comment below. Y'all know these dudes be out here really trying to make sure they got their little outfit together and they got their little hair done or, I mean, not hair done if they got hair or whatever. They be just, you know, trying to make sure they bed trimmed up, you know, looking good. So, I mean, he was like, he looked way better in person than he did, you know what I'm saying? He looked way better in person than, um than I um, expected. So, and then it's like, when I first met him, the vibe was so right. I had jumped out of the car or whatever. And he was just like, hey, and gave me a hug. Oh my God, y'all almost melted. Okay, almost melted. He smelled so good. Okay, so he, he cleaned, so he's like cleaning my car. So I'm watching him clean the car, or whatever. I mean, he's like vacuuming out my car. I'm watching him vacuuming out the car. I'm looking, looking at his shoes and stuff. I'm like, okay, he fresh or whatever. And, um, I was like, he fresh or whatever. And so, um, the car's vacuumed out now. So, of course, he's not going to send me back on my way after I done drove 45 minutes. So, he was like, let's, you know what I'm saying, just kick back and watch some. He was like, I'm off today. I don't have to work today. Let's, um, my son at school. Um, and, because he was a single father or whatever. So, he was like, my son at school right now. He was like, let's just watch some movies. No, no, it was a, I think it was the weekend. So I think his son might have been with the baby mother. But whatever it was, the son wasn't there. And we basically had some hours to hang and chill. So, um, did I tell y'all he gave me a hug? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, y'all. So, like, this story is, like, real upbeat right now. But it, it, it turns sour. Okay. So, um, where am I at? Okay, so that day or whatever, keep in mind. Uh, so when we got in the car, whatever, we going back to his house. He was like, "Are you hungry?" I was like, "Uh, yeah." You know what I'm saying? So he was like, "I know this." Um, he was like, "I know this little spot that sells chicken or whatever." And he was like, "You want some chicken?" And of course, I want some chicken. So we went and got the chicken or whatever, and we went to the liquor store, I think, and got some, like some wine. I think we yeah, we got some wine and some chicken, right? So, and of course he was smoking or whatever. So, um, so we get back to the house and y'all like, we just sitting there watching movies and talking and vibing and like the vibe was just so right. Like I just felt so comfortable with him. Like he wasn't being inappropriate. He was just really like you know, interested in getting to know me, more about me, and just talking and vibing or whatever, so we had a really good time, okay, so, so many hours had passed, and ladies, y'all know, you can't be just, like, hanging out too long with somebody, like, you, you just met, you know what I'm saying, they might get the wrong idea or start, you know what I'm saying, like, oh, so now what we gonna do, okay, so, after we had watched a couple of movies or whatever, 
I had, um, I was like, all right, it's time for me to go. Or it, it might have been time for me to go get my kids. I don't remember what it was, but I had to go. I didn't have to have to go, but I knew intuitively that I needed to go because I had spent enough time with him. And you know what I'm saying? You know, so um, I leave or whatever. I go. I'm going on about my business. Um, he texts me like, you know, you make it back. Woo woo. Oh, man, I messed this one up. Oh, man. Hold on one second. So he makes sure I mix it back and everything like that. So I, I don't know if I told y'all because I was so pressed to tell y'all about when we met. Now, when I, I, I had to go through an easy pass toll thing. When I got up to the easy pass, I'm like, what is this? I'm like, I, I thought it was a place where you could go and you could pay cash. But I think due to COVID, you can't pay cash for your toll. So if you don't have an easy pass, they'll just take a picture of your tag and they're going to send you um, your toll amount that you got to pay in the mail. So I was like, cool. When I first went that first day when he back in my car, I was like, cool or whatever. Because um, I... Uh, you know, I was just like, okay, it's a toll. It's like four or five dollars. You know, it's not a lot or whatever. So I get who I get a phone call from later on that evening, and he was like, oh, what you doing? And I remember, yeah, because he worked evenings. No, I had to, I remember now, y'all. I'm lying. I'm lying. He, it's not that he was off that day. He didn't work until he worked nights. So he didn't work till later on at night, and that's why I was leaving because I knew it was almost time for him to be getting ready to probably had to you know take a nap so he could be able to go to work. So, um, later on at night, he was like, um, I had so much fun with you. I really would like for you to come, um, you know, over my house or whatever. He was like, I, I would love to meet you at a restaurant or something like that. But I have my son and, um, you know, he's, you know, I have my son or whatever. He said, when I get off of work, it's late, but I be having my son, he'd be asleep or whatever. And I was like, okay, well, I could just, um, pull up on you or whatever. So y'all, here I go again. Beating up the highway, up, you know what I'm saying, Baltimore, and and I'm like, okay, I said, oh, you know the toll, it's nothing, it's just a couple of um, dollars, you know, it's a couple of dollars, I'll be all right now. Come to find out, there was a way for me to go that wouldn't have been a toll, but it would have took me like an extra, an additional 15 minutes or 20 minutes or something like that. And I was just so pressed to get there, y'all. I was just so pressed to get there. And I was like, this is just a couple of dollars. So keep in mind, this goes on for a long period. Like, I went to go see him like 10 times. And I'm not even exaggerating. So in my mind, I'm like, you know, 10 times, 10 times 40 I mean, 10 times $4, $4, $5, that's $40, $50. I was like, okay, that's nothing. You know what I'm saying? That was my mistake. You know what I'm saying? I know I should have, you know what I'm saying? After the first time, I knew that, it, you know, the first time I was like, okay, I didn't know. After that, I knew what I was doing. Okay, so I'm going back and forth. Now, let me tell y'all how the situation went sour with him. So we're talking and he's telling me, oh, I went to the club. Oh, I had went to the club and I was like with my girlfriends or whatever. And um he was with like one of his dudes. He was with one of his homeboys or something like that. And we me and her, we was at the club and he kept calling me while I was in the club. And I was like, We at the club and he can hear the background in the background or everything like that. And he was like, Oh, who you with? And I was like, I'm with um I'm with uh Jessica Rabbit. That's you know what I'm saying. That's gonna call her Jessica Rabbit. I was like, I'm with Jessica Rabbit. So, um, he was like, oh, okay, um, that's your, um, your Caucasian, your, um, Caucasian friend. I said, yeah, yeah, that's my Caucasian friend. I was like, cause you know, I don't have many Caucasian friends where I live at. So, you know, he knew exactly who I was talking about. He was like, oh, well, my homeboy like her or whatever like that. I said, look, she got a boyfriend or something like that. Right. So I was like, I don't know what she doing. Um, or whatever. So he told me, he was like, I forgot to tell y'all that he has, I oh, know I told y'all he has a twin brother. So he was like, nah, nah, um, it's just my twin brother here. He, he was with his homeboy and his twin brother was there. And I think it was a girl, the twin brother had a girl there or whatever. Now the situation with the twin brother was real ratchet y'all. Like the twin brother girlfriend lived in the same complex that he, they lived that the, that the twin brother lived in. So my friend Marcus, he had his own apartment, but the twin brother used to always be over there 
or I don't know if they shared the apartment together, but I don't think they did because it was a one bedroom. So, um, I just think that that's what a twin brother used to come when the girlfriend used to kick him out or whatever. So he used to be like bringing girls over there that the girlfriend didn't know about or whatever like that. So he was here just told me, he was like, yeah, my, my brother's over here with a girl or some shit or, uh, uh, mm. He said my brother's over here with a girl or something like that. And he was telling me, he was like, uh, pull up. He was telling me to come or pull up. Do y'all know I drove all the way to this man house? Well, he told me he was like, um, he was like, yeah, he was like, you could pull up. He was like, my brother here with a girl though or something. And I was like, oh, okay, I don't know why he told me that. So I, um, you know, get dressed, take a shower, everything, get dressed. And I'm like excited like I always am to go see him. And, you know, I'm beating up the highway like I always am. And I called him once or twice while I was driving. And I'm like, that's funny. He's not answering the phone because he just told me to pull up. And um, so I done got another toe, y'all. Tell me why I pull up to this man's house. This man never, he doesn't answer the door. Um, he hadn't answered the phone and I'm like, oh, okay, now I was thinking, okay, he was in the shower or whatever at first. He knows I'm on his, on my way. He told me to be on my way. You know what I'm saying? So I'm knocking on the door. He never answers the door. So I'm pissed at this point. So I leave or whatever. And I'm like playing literally, um, let me think of the song I was playing on, um, it, um, Kodak Black. I was playing, you ain't the one for me. Baby, you're not my speed. Song I can't I can't remember how I go, but if y'all know that song, comment below if you know the song I'm talking about. I played that all the way back home, and I was just like, I will never let a man play with me ever again. Okay, so I don't know. And then soon as I pull off, before I even when I was bumping that back, he texts me soon as I get out of his parking lot. So clearly. You were either watching me out the window or you were watching me at the door and you um and you saw me and then he waited until I left and he was like, Oh, I, I told you my brother was here with a girl or something like that. I said, Yeah, but you still said pull up and I screenshotted the message and I um I screenshotted the message and I sent it back to him. He was like, Nah, I ain't mean that. So you mean to tell me you gonna have me drive forty five minutes to your house and you could have been said that when I was calling you or when I was on the way or you could have made yourself very clear. I don't call all of these toes messing around with you. Now keep in mind I'm thinking of toes four or five dollars, y'all. I don't know if it's due to COVID or whatever like that. I get the toes in the mail. Let me tell you, they Maybe I didn't pay the toll in the right amount of time. They assessed a fine on it. I ended up having to pay $200 for these couple of trips that 10, what, 10 trips. I ended up having to pay like over $200. Like it was so unbelievable, y'all. And I never even paid the tolls yet. I sent a letter back to the, um, I sent that letter to the uh to the little uh toll place and let them know I'm trying to request a court date because just trying to buy myself some time to pay for <laughs> the tolls. So uh, the moral of the story is don't be thirsty, okay? Because it could cost you so much more in the long run. But I mean. I don't want to say it was worth the $200, but the little bit of fun that we did have and the, um, like, I don't know why I was just so attracted to him. And I think it was because he had a twin and I mean, I was physically attracted to him. I didn't braided this man hair and everything y'all. He did pay me, but, um, I braided this man hair and everything. Like I was just really liking him. So now I'm just like, I don't got time for it. And I got $200 worth of toes. So, um, leave me a comment below if you liked the, the story time, y'all. I'm so sorry the video was so long and drawn out. I wanted to show you guys how I did my envelopes. Also, leave me a comment below and let me know, have you ever been in a situation similar to that? Like, literally just being thirsty and it backfired on you. But, um, I really think that he was wrong for that. I think that he should have at least been, you know, just straightforward and said whatever he said. You should have never told me to pull up. But, um, I'm not going to lie. My feelings was hurt behind that for a little bit. But, um... 
I'm a commodity, okay? So, they ain't hand me down for long. If you are not subscribed to the channel, I suggest that you hit the subscribe button below and join the Shmoney team so you can get your Shmoney together, baby, okay? I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I hope this was entertaining. I hope this was funny. Um, please don't judge me because I know everybody been through their own stuff. And um, until next time, love from beloved. Peace and hair grease, baby.